Um, hello, everyone. Thank you uh, for joining me to uh, joining us today. Um, my name is uh, Diane Boston Jack. I'm the uh, membership manager over at the American Institute of Biological Sciences. If you're not familiar with AIBS, we are a national science organization dedicated to advancing biology for the benefit of science and society. We work to ensure that the public legislators, funders, and the community of biologists have access to and use information that will guide them in making informed decisions about matters that require biological knowledge. One way we do this is by providing decision makers information, and we do this independently and in partnership with members and business partners. So a little reminder on um, what we're, we do here is we have a weekly Facebook Live um, every Wednesday at noon to talk about what we're doing at AIBS. So I'm usually joined with somebody um, either from AIBS or one of our uh, members, and we discuss a topic or a theme. Um, you can find these recordings either on our Facebook page, and you can also find them on our YouTube page. Um, and that is uh, all that information is located on our website at AIBS.org. You can just scroll down to the bottom and find all of those links. Um, you can also visit our website to find out more about us and what we're doing in the biology community today. So this week we actually had our annual meeting, which um, just ended on Monday, so we'll have some interesting news uh, coming up in the future about that and what was discussed. But today, I'm joined with James Radier, um, and he's from our public communications office, and we're going to be talking a little bit about just bioscience. Um, most of you guys have probably seen him before because he joins me at least once a month <laughs> to talk about the podcast. But um, today, we're going to talk about just bioscience in general. And one thing I wanted to ask him is, I know we publish a lot of things monthly. You know, every month we have the journal that comes out, but have you recently published an article that has been getting a lot of attention? So um, I know you have. So what is it and what's it about? Okay, so this was a um, this was a viewpoint article that was published around the 13th of November. Um, and it was an it's an update to a 25 year old letter written by the Union of Concerned Scientists. Uh, it's a letter to humanity. And it's, you know, a letter of, of warning about, you know, sort of the environmental degradation um, that we're seeing around the globe. And this article's you know, aim was to take that 25-year-old piece, update it, look at some of the predictions and look at you know, some of the concerns and you know, see how those are playing out and how those have played out over the past 25 years. So how is humanity doing in the problem areas that were identified in the article? Uh, not well. Um, you know, I, I urge everyone to, get, to go ahead and have a look at the article itself. There's a, a figure in it that sort of kind of outlines with you know, a few very simple graphs um, you know, how some of these problem areas have been affected. Um, and in generally speaking, you know, the authors find that, you know, uh, humanity as a whole broadly has failed to, um, you know, correct its course in a lot of important ways. And, um, you know, this, this article is entitled The Second Notice. And, um, you know, the authors urge, you know, those changes to be made very soon and very urgently. Hopefully we won't have to have a third notice, but um, what is the response? What's the response been like? Um, so the response has been huge. You know, uh, one, one thing about this article was that it was published with uh, well over 15,000 signatories, um, you know, who are scientists in various fields. And it's, it's since picked up some more. And so if you are a, a scientist who would like to become a signatory, um, you can go ahead and track down that information and, you know, sign up yourself. Um, and the response has been overwhelming. You know, we've had publications of articles from, you know, hundreds of news outlets. There have been thousands of tweets. Uh, this has been, you know, clearly one of the, the most viewed and highest attention getting articles uh, on any science topic that will be published um, in the year 2017. So it's, it's been an overwhelming response and, um, you know, it's been getting a lot of attention. Well, I mean, it's unfortunate that there has to be a second notice, but it's great that it's getting attention. Right. It's probably the attention that we need. Um, and they can find this uh, article at our, you can find a link, I think, from our website, but you can also go to the OUP. It's, uh, what's the OUP address for uh, bioscience? It's uh, academic.oup.com forward slash bioscience. And you'll be looking for the uh, December issue, and you can probably just click on that cover. Uh, it's got a big picture of the globe. And, um, and I think know, it's yeah. also on the side, if you go down um, right. some of the notable articles, it's in there, because that's where I found it recently. <laughs> um, yeah. So yes, I highly recommend everybody to go there and check it out. If uh, you have any questions, again, just shoot out to, an email to us and we can help guide you if you need to track something down on that. So thank you, James, for joining me. Um, actually, uh, 
Thank as a reminder to him and to everybody else, he will be joining me next week <laughs> to talk about the podcast. <laughs> so so um, thanks again for joining us. Um, and so I will see everybody next week, but I just wanted to go ahead and thank all of our individual members and organizational members for their support. Without them, we would not be able to provide these live streams. And if you're not a member yet, please join us today and enjoy the benefits of an AIBS membership and help bring biology to life. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful week. And James, thank you again. I will see everybody, including James, next week. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Diane.